The Autofocus API allows you to programmatically extend the capabilities of the Autofocus Threat Intelligence Cloud. While the Autofocus Portal allows you to sift through a vast amount of threat intelligence, the Autofocus API lets you extend this power to your own service, application, or script. For example, you may want to include threat intelligence data on your own dashboard, or automatically gather the most recent malware threats seen on your network. We'll start by running a simple search and get the corresponding curl request on the Autofocus Portal. You'll then use this request to initiate the same search through the Autofocus API and using another request, view the results. To get started, log on to the Autofocus Portal and navigate to the search editor. Let's start with an example search for all public Android malware samples tagged by Unit 42. To do this, add search conditions that describe the wildfire verdict, file type, tag source, and scope of the sample. Let's replicate this search to the API using the API button. The API button provides a quick, convenient way to get a curl-based API request. Anytime you construct a search with the search editor, you can use the API button to replicate this as an API request. The curl request includes all of the necessary fields required for API requests, including the API key, which is currently obscured. You'll see that the request reflects each of the search conditions we have in the search editor, and some others that determine the size and order in which results appear in the response. You can now use this to create a request through the API, which is the first of two steps to view results. Let's copy this curl request and import it into Postman, which is a Chrome extension that lets you test API requests. Or you can run this request on any shell that supports curl requests. We see that the Autofocus API returns an AF cookie value. Sample searches are asynchronous because Autofocus, depending on the search, starts to provide results right away and then adds them until the search is complete. The AF cookie value is your key to see these results. Your next step is to use this value along with the API key to check on the results of the original request. Let's construct a new search that uses the AF cookie value and includes the API key in the body of the request. Autofocus responds with a JSON array that includes search results. Each name value pair shows attributes of the malware sample, such as hashes, file types, sizes, and tags. In this tutorial, you learn how to use the Autofocus portal to construct a search for malware. You then use the provided curl request to repeat that search and view results through the Autofocus API. You can use this same process to test other searches on the Autofocus portal, then view the same results outside of the Autofocus portal using the Autofocus API. To learn more about the Autofocus API, refer to the Autofocus API reference. You can also read other autofocus documentation on the Palo Alto Network's documentation portal.